Welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by. IBM SPSS is a statistical package that is used for data analysis in social sciences. Unfortunately, SPSS is not an open source package and so it is not free. However, there is a provision to have access to the package and use it for free. So in this video, I will be demonstrating the access to download SPSS statistics package for free. My name is Tito Khan and this is Tito Khan Max Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. Now, to gain free access to the package, open any browser of your choice and type this full address on the address bar and then click enter on your keyboard. This will take you straight to the page on the IBM website called IBM SPSS Statistics. On this page, you will find two important buttons the button for buy now and a button with the statement try SPSS statistics for free. If that URL address is too long for you to type, simply go to Google search engine and on the search bar, type IBM SPSS software and click on the Google search button. This returns many search result options with the IBM SPSS software as the first option. Go ahead and click on the IBM SPSS software. This will take you straight to the page on the IBM website called IBM SPSS software. On this page, you will find two important buttons like we saw earlier. The button for buy SPSS statistics now and the button with the statement try SPSS statistics for free. As you can see, there is an option of a free version, which you can use for a period of time. So, click on the button for Try SPSS Statistics for free. And this opens a new page of the website containing an IBM account form that you are required to fill in order to create an IBM ID login details that you will need to gain access to the free SPSS software. Take your time to fill this short form to register for IBM ID login details. Please, ensure you provide genuine information as required you must provide a valid email for this registration because a code will be sent to the email you have provided to verify your registration. Now, let's create the IBM for myself as an applicant. However, if you already had an account with LinkedIn, just click on this button for sign in with LinkedIn and immediately the form will be auto filled with your stored information. Otherwise, you can enter the details as required for each item to register and create the IBM ID. Enter your email in the email column. Enter your first name here. Enter your last name here. Now, create a strong password for this IBM account. Your password must consist of 12 to 63 characters, one uppercase character, one lowercase character, one number, and the password should be sufficiently strong. You can include special characters if you want. For country or region of residence, click on the button and from the drop down options, kindly select your country of residence. This option might be auto feed for you. Click on the state or province and select your state of residence. Enter your phone number and ensure your country phone code is well stated. Your phone number must be valid. The next item is to specify whether you are a student or not. If you are a student, choose yes. If you are not a student, choose no. Whichever one you choose is fine. Then click yes or no if you agree to be contacted for pricing. Now, click on next to go to the page where you can create the IBM ID account. At the same time, a seven digit confirmation code is generated and sent to your registered email you supplied with the title new user registration. The seven digit code that is sent to you is expected to expire within 30 minutes. So you must be fast and your internet must be sufficiently strong. Now, go to your email inbox, highlight the seven digit code, and press Ctrl V on your keyboard to copy the code. After you have copied the seven digit code, return to the website and paste it in this verification token box. The box for email and phone are optional. You can decide whether to tick them or not. If you tick one or the both of them, IBM will continue to inform you about their products, services, and offers. If you don't want this information, 
just leave the bosses unchecked. Then click on Create Account button. A new page opens displaying information about your IBM ID account. At this same time, a new email titled Registration Successful is sent to you. In the email, you are informed that your IBM ID is activated. Then return to the website, go ahead and click on Proceed. And this takes you to the verification page. And at the same time, a new email is sent to you titled Verify Your Identity. This verification page needs you to enter the code sent to your email. As you can see on this page, the first four digits have already been displayed here. Now, open the email title Verify Your Identity that has been sent to you. As you can see, this email contains 10-digit code, which is expected to expire after 20 minutes. Now, highlight only the last six digits and press Ctrl V on your keyboard to copy the six-digit code. Then, return to the website and paste it in this box provided. Then, click on Verify. Immediately, the website takes some time to process your request and load your products. At the same time, another email is sent to you titled, Your IBM SPSS Statistics Trial is ready to use. That email contains information of the software you are about to download. Please take your time to read the information. Now, go ahead and click on the download button to commence the download process of the SPSS software. On the download page, important information about your free trial are provided. Please ensure you read the six important information because they are very vital to the free use of the software. Now scroll down to the end of this page to see the download buttons for Windows and Mac respectively. You can download for Windows operating system or for Mac operating system. However, for Windows, your system must be 64 bits. IBM no longer supports 32 bits. To download for Windows, click on Download for Windows 64 bit to commence the download process. As you can see, the name of the executable file is XPSS Statistics, and the size of this file is large, so it might take some time to complete the download process depending on how fast your system is. Now, click Start Download and wait for the download process to complete. When the download process is done, go to the variable location or folder where the file is saved in your system. As you can see in this folder, this is the downloaded SPSS software file and is called SPSS Statistics. This software is free and you can use it for as long as 30 days. The installation procedure of this software is the same as installation of other software, except that you will need an internet service and the IBM ID login details you entered during the registration to gain access to the full installation. However, in my next video, I shall be demonstrating how to install this software. This is how to download XPSS software for free, and I hope you'll be able to replicate the procedure to download the XPSS software for yourself. But right now, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video and you want to see more video contents like this, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notification every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. Thanks for your time and subscription, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.